If you've had an old car, you're probably pretty familiar with this situation. You forget to unlock your car and then you can't get into it. What the situation actually is, is you get to your destination, take off your seat belt, and then it, it just kind of sits there like a like a limp noodle. It doesn't, doesn't really retract all that well. Or even worse, you get out of the car and it dangles down and it gets caught in your door jam and the car doesn't close or the car door doesn't close or it's stuck dangling out. It's it's all very inconvenient. And you might be thinking, well, I already know the fix for that. You go to the junkyard and you get a, another reel or you go to the dealership and you buy another uh, assembly and you put in a new seat belt. But I am not convinced that is the only way. And thankfully to help me fix this, I have already Put on a cup of tea. The thing that's gonna help us fix this seatbelt is excited water. And what I usually do to get the water excited is tell it, hey kids, we're going to Disney World, but Disney World is closed right now, so I have to stick to just making it really, really hot. And to do that, I put on the kettle. This is a Bissell Steam Shot link in the description. It shoots steam or shots steam if you prefer. It's just a, it's literally just a kettle with a nozzle on it. You fill it through with water, you plug it in, and then hot water comes out here. Hang on. Ooh, neat and a bit messy, but that is going to help us clean the absolute dickens out of this, which you, you, you're probably thinking, oh, well, my seatbelt's not that dirty. I take very good care of it. It, it's absolutely shocking how much gross nonsense can come off of you. And this isn't even like the part that touches you. This is the part that faces away from you. You know, your, your arm sits on it, your, your hands touch it, whatever. That gets nasty. And most people and even some detailers don't really pay a whole lot of attention to this. So I'm going to pay some attention to it. I've literally never cleaned this car since I got it. Like I vacuumed it half-heartedly yesterday and I've wiped the dash off once. So let's try and make this car a little bit nicer today and fix, well, you can see, you can see as I, as I roll it by the camera, <laughs> the change in, in how it looks. And it's actually kind of sticky here. Uh, the more I mess with this, uh, the more I am absolutely thoroughly disgusted and want to burn all the skin off my hands. Anyway, uh, let's get some paper towels and get to work. Just in order to keep this from retracting without me wanting it to, I just kind of did this weird little knot thing up here, super easy to take off, but it it provides enough resistance that I can just extend the whole thing and uh, not have to fight it. So now the thing I have to do is somehow use both of my hands and hold the camera. But uh, for now... Can't really scrub it. Hmm. Mmm, steam is hot. Steam is very hot. That's disgusting. That's how much grossness is in this seat belt. That is terrible. That's working a treat. That is looking pretty much like new. That is very impressive. There's not really, there's a, there's like a little bit of discoloration right here, but overall, that's pretty impressive. Now, let's flip it around. Yeah, that other side is uh, noticeably scungier than this side is now. So I'll get that side done and then we'll see if this thing retracts with a like new snap. Well, that's absolutely gross. Let's see if this thing rolls back up with a nice satisfying sound. Just going to undo that. It doesn't quite go in all the way, so there's probably just a bit of looseness in the mechanism, but it does roll in a whole lot smoother and it looks so much cleaner. That's actually something that I wouldn't mind having touching my skin. Um, I'm going to go bathe in fire now after touching that, something else I noticed in this car, like I said, I've never cleaned this. I just realized I scraped this with my fingernail. That is all human slime. I've been touching that the whole time I own this car. That is the worst thing ever. I'm not like a germaphobe by any means, but let's get some steam in here and see if we can resolve that. 
this is kind of just gonna make my whole car wet, uh, which I'm not sure if that's a problem or not, but. Uh... Huh, how about that? There's actually leather texture under there. I thought it was just worn, and then I realized today what it actually was, and I about screamed. That's so much nicer. Oh my gosh, the little improvements. Well, um, that was certainly a video. For what it's worth, when I had the insight detailed by Josh, the driver's seatbelt started working way better afterwards, so I figured that would also be the case here. So it appears to be hit or miss based on what car, but this advice did work on the insight, so uh, nothing wrong with getting it, giving it a try. I mean, most people never think to clean their seatbelts, so or at least I never did. Maybe I'm just not most people. Turns out worn out is just worn out sometimes. That's a shame. Thanks for watching.